better make it quick Real rich bitch Better make it thick It better make sense YouTube YouTube, it's your boy Just Tim Johnson coming back at you all with the in hand review. We finally got the shock drop pair that we've been waiting for. It finally hit the doorstep yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and do an in hand review. We're gonna do a quick comparison to a few similar renditions of this colorway. The silhouette, we've seen it before and back in 2019. Y'all saw the thumbnail, y'all read the description, so y'all know what it is. We're gonna get right into it. As y'all can see, this came from the show y'all that came from nike right there the standard cardboard box we ain't bust this joint open yet because we want to get an in hand realistic reaction so we're gonna go ahead and open this joint up now let's see what we got all right i don't know now some people got there shout out to shuby brian shout out to jackie Jackie O, she got her pair. Uh, a couple other people. Uh, Freeport Donnie got his pair. Essentially, everybody got their pair before the 14th. Mine didn't come until, the, which was yesterday, the 14th. You know, for Hard's Day. So there's the label right there. There's the top of the box. Now, forgive me, people. I don't have the 2019 box readily available. I'm sorry for this. We got to go without it, all right? And let's take a look at the shoe. Let y'all see that. It's that. Oh, forgive me. I ain't on my game. Air Jordan 4 Retro, black, fire red, cement gray. The style code is Foxtrot Victor 5029006. When you put that together, this is what you have. This shoe is set to release tomorrow's Friday. So check your hibbits, check your foot locker, finish line, EA, uh, your exclusive access and all this. See if y'all got pairs from s and Because from what I'm looking at, these pairs are starting to dry up. All right. Here's the I'm sorry. Some got his attention and he got my attention. So here's the medial side of this shoe. Here's the rear view. Here's the front view. All right. It's the Air Jordan 4 Reimagined Bread. The leather quality. And this is straight from the Sneakers app shock drop. Well, the phone I, I'm recording on. Here's the right shoe. All right, now a couple of things, right? We've been hearing it from content creators. We've been hearing it from sources close to Nike, sources not close to Nike, that the, the, the biggest debate about this shoe is, is it better than one? And again, this is subjective, people. Is it better than the OG Jordan Bread 4, right? Made out of that new buck material. I'm, we ain't finna go back and forth with that. You can comment down below what your thoughts and perspective on it. If you like the leather better than you like the new buck, I, for one like the new buck better i'm not necessarily saying disliking the leather this is a dope shoe i like this this black hang tag like this would a yo this is this is different right but to me it's not necessarily i wouldn't pick this over the the original now the thing is had this came out in the original i don't know you know then we probably would be i would be saying the same thing about a new buck rendition of this but here it is, right? And then because we're discussing that, this is a size 12, it's the personal pair. Here is the, I don't know what the hell happened to my hang tag with these though. Here's the 2019 pair. Let me give y'all a, if you're thinking about copping this and paying resale for it or trying to catch a restock or a re-release. All right. Now, the, the first thing, like I said, was does the shoe is it better than the 2019 pair? Again, it's subjective. It's what, what, you know, what you prefer. The second biggest topic of discussion around the shoe was, is the, the design of the shoe closer to the OG? 
This is the 2019 pair. You see how the toe cap is? This is the 2024 pair. All right? Then look at the tongue. Look at the heel tab. Let me try to hold these as even as possible. There's a difference in the shape, right? I'm gonna show that to y'all. You can pause the video. There's a difference in the shape on the toe cap, right? Let me show this to you all up close. See it? All right. And it could just be because it's leather. It's a dope shoe. Now, let's compare this shoe, though, to some of the more recent. I don't have the red cement for us in here. I got them, but they ain't in right here, and I ain't finna stop and go get them. This was uh, the Midnight Navy joint, right? The leather on this. This leather quality is better than this leather quality. Now, your pair may be different. You may get that tumble leather. I got this one look like it's smooth. It's soft, right? But this looks like a better grade of material here. See it? And then look at it here, especially right here, right? And then let me show y'all this here. Now we're gonna get back to the, the actual design, the shape design of the shoe, comparing it to this one. So y'all know they changed the specs on this and they made it, Allegedly, you know, the rumor has it that it's truer to the OG shape. You see how this one is shaped? Let me try to give y'all a... And this one's still dead stock, so there's no, ain't no wear and tear on this one. I don't really see a difference. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Hold on one second. Let me try to. Hold on a second. Let me be, let me be certain before I comment on this. Hold on. Let me pull this. Oh, I didn't show y'all the sock liner. Forgive me. It does say Nike Air. Comment down below if you're thinking about double up on the shoe. I don't. I for one, because I got the 2019 pair. Y'all see what condition this one in. I do not need a double up. I don't even think I could double up if I wanted to, because I just struck out on everything else except the shot drop. But you know they ain't doing nothing but helping me. Yeah. So look, look at the toe cap. Look at this one, right? And then look at this one. This one is definitely shaped a little bit more true to what it was like back in 89 when it came out, right? From what I recall. Now, keep in mind, that was over 30 years ago. And sometimes I can't even remember what I wore to work Tuesday, but, you know, hell. But them is, we nitpicking at that point, people. You feel what I'm saying? Um, it's, a, it's a clean colorway. It's a dope colorway. People were worried about the leather and if it increased. With that, right? Let me show you all this. This shoe has been worn, right? Several times, this is what the creasing looks like. Just to kind of give y'all an idea of what the leather gonna look like once it start creasing. And then there's uh, this one. I can beat these to the ground, like this is my, when I wear Air Jordan 4, this pretty much this what the foe is my go-to. Show y'all this, right? That's what it looks like creased. And I wear this at least once a month. Y'all see, I did the lace swap on it. Just to kind of, so for those of y'all that are worried about what, what is the creasing propensity for it, right? Versus the new buck, right? I wear these. Y'all see how this creases, right? And I've worn these maybe, I know I wore it to Dallas, so I probably wore these twice. I wore it to a Cowboys game in Dallas and a Cowboys game out here in Arizona. And y'all see I did the lace swap with this one too. All right, so that gives you an idea of what it would look like once it starts creasing, okay? This leather, like this is soft leather. Like this ain't, 
I mean, it's a dope shoe. I ain't, you know. Do I think the leather quality on it better than the, the SB leather quality? Nope, it's not. It damn, it the damn show ain't. It's SB just different though, right? It ain't. I wouldn't put this shoe over this one, right? But this shoe, like if I had my pick between these two, I'm picking this one. Just because of the look, you know, like this, that type of stuff. Like the ankle, this, the ankle collar is a little thick on this one. That fit, that it's a it's a difference when you feel that. Comment down below what y'all thoughts and opinions is on this, right? Like, did you go for it? Did you pass on it? Is your 2019 pair still in a still in condition where you want to bypass this? As far as preliminary predictions. It's at or around retail right now, size 12. Probably if we look on StockX, let's take a look. Just to take a, a quick glance and see what uh see what that ticket is on it. Forgive me, people. So for a size 12, and this one is going for uh, 272. That price gonna go up. It is right after this Saturday. So in two days, that price gonna that price gonna shoot up because once them pairs drop, now rumor has it that it's about 500,000 pairs somewhere in that neighborhood. Again, that's the reported number. Don't hold me to that. It's two million people looking for this shoe because everybody that didn't catch that 2019 not gonna miss out on this and it's tax time. And the economy is starting to trend upwards from a sneaker perspective, right? Do not think it's going to be easy. If you already put your leg work in and you have it, good for you. If you didn't, be on top of those drops for tomorrow. Go to the J23 app. See, we check all the links. Get your pair for retail. We is not paying resale if we ain't got to no more. We done done enough of that. All right, any of y'all can look at any three shoes in y'all collection where y'all to pay resale for them. We through paying resale for them. We want the retail dubs. That's the 2024 movement. Comment down below if you're able to secure yours for the retail dub. I'm going to keep this one. This is going to be in the personal collection unless that price shoot up to like $600 and it's going to walk the plank. You know, it is what it is. I, I, I ain't a, a reseller, but I am a hustler, so I got bills to pay. So if I need to pay a bill and that price up there in that neighborhood, bye-bye shoe. Tag and all. I don't like this shoe enough to keep it because of that tag. That's just where I'm at with it, right? Comment down below where you at with it. I appreciate each all. Oh. Let me apologize because some of this content y'all going to be getting is going to be chronologically incorrect. That was the issue with the the memory where I was throwing it at on Google Drive or whatever. Something happened. It wasn't saving it. So I had to go back to the devices I was recording the videos on. So they gonna it's not going to match up to what you all see. You're going to have some stuff where I was in Chicago. Then when I came back, forgive me for that, though. But bear with us. We're going to get back on track, but we're going to get it humming. All right. Thank each and every one of you all. But taking time out of your day, your commute home, driving, running errands, whatever you're doing, be safe out there. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, all the old tribe, all the tenure tribe members, all the new Just Tim Johnson tribe members. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feedback is a gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, comment, subscribe. We shall walk that mile together. It's your boy Just Tim Johnson. Peace. You better make it cool. Hey. All I want is a real rich bitch, real rich that is bitch. it Two tones, it don't matter, make it thick, that is it All these